Assalamu alaikum and welcome back guys for the sixth lesson on Python learning. If you're still watching this video, then I congratulate you on being steadfast on your resolve to learn Python in 30 lessons. Think of a loop, the topic that we are going to discuss today, like attending a daily workout class that runs for 30 days. Each day you show up, complete your workout and then go home. This is like a loop where you repeat the same task, which is working out, every day for a fixed number of days, which are iterations in code. Now imagine on the 15th day, you sprain your ankle. You decide to stop attending the class altogether. This is like a break statement in a loop. It forces you to leave early, ending the loop before the full 30 days. Now in this analogy, the workout class represents the loop, the repeated action. Deciding to stop after the injury represents the break, halting the loop before it completes. Similarly, in coding, when a specific condition is met, like the injury in this case, you can break out of a loop prematurely. Now, the continue statement is like on the 15th day, you did not sprain your ankle, but you had a bad mood and you decided to stop attending the class just for that particular day and from the 16th day you continued with your workout class this is exactly what a continue statement does it stops that particular iteration and then continues with the loop and it does not break out of the loop like the break statement so today we will be learning all about loops break statement and continue without wasting any time Let's jump in. Today we'll be exploring what a loop does, what is a break statement, and of course, what is continue. So these are the contents for our class today. And then of course, in the second half, we are going to live code. First, Let's talk about loops. Let's talk about loops. Let's talk about loops. Let's talk about loops. Now what you just experienced was not a glitch in the video, but I showed you exactly what a loop does. It repeats whatever, whatever the statement, whatever the uh, specific instructions you have given it, whatever the task you are giving it, it just repeats the same process again and again and again. This is exactly what a loop does. Why do we need loops? Of course, we need it for automation. For example, uh, if you want to print numbers from one to 100, you just need a loop with two, three lines and you can print the 100 lines without writing 100 lines. So this is the beauty of loops. Now let's talk about break. What is a break statement? Break statement is nothing but uh, a statement that is used to break out of the loop. So you remember the keyword break. Break means you are breaking the loop. The loop no more exists. You have killed the loop. So this is exactly what a break statement does. Why do you need a break statement? Let's look at this example. So in this example, you can see, you do not have to understand this uh, syntax for a moment. Uh, you would know by the end of this video, what does this mean? But this is a loop in which you are going through, iterating through a list. And then you are trying to find milk. Now your task is to find the milk. You do not know where the milk is. Maybe it's in the first index. Maybe it's, in, it's at the last index. Maybe it's in the middle. What you want to do is you want to stop the loop after the milk is found. So what you do is you write if milk, if you found the milk, you break. You just write break. It would break out of the loop. And then your task is completed without going through the complete list. For example, the list was thousand uh, items and milk was at the 10th item, item. So you would break out of the loop at the 10th iteration. This is the beauty of break. For example, then we have... Uh, Continue. What does continue do? It is, escapes the current iteration only of a loop and moves on to the next iteration. Why is it useful? Let's look at an example to understand why is it useful. In this example, what I'm doing is I, I want to print only odd numbers. 
So what I'm doing is a loop is iterating through 1 till 10. What I'm doing is I am using this statement I this person sign 2 equals equals 0. This, is, this condition only uh, is fulfilled when you have an even number. So when you have this condition fulfilled, it means the number is even. What you do is you continue. It means you are not going to print this. You are going to skip this iteration altogether. And then you are going to go back for the next iteration. So this is an example where the even numbers are skipped using the continue statement. Then comes the in interesting part or the exciting part of the day, which is live coding, of course. But the quote is, Practice is the effort that turns potential into performance, transforming knowledge into mastery. So now I am at the VS Code and as you can see, I've already made a file with the name lesson6.py and I have already put some comments in it as well. And uh, the comment says loop syntax. The second line describes the syntax, which is for, then you put variable. Variable could be any name you want to put. Then in and then iterator. Iterator could be a list, it could be a text, a string, numbers, anything. Then this indentation, it shows you that this is the body of the for loop. Similarly, you have while condition. So you, what you do is you put while, and then whatever your condition is, and of course with the indentation, you would have your body of the code. So let's uh, start coding. Uh, let's look at the example that we already saw in uh, the theory part which was uh, the shopping list and you were finding the milk what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a variable okay, let's call it shopping list equals then what I'm doing is putting square brackets just like how the syntax of the list works and uh, putting some items in it let's call I eggs juice you separate the items or elements in a list with a comma and this quotation it shows that the item is a string value so i as i said in the previous lecture that in the list you can put multiple items of different data types uh, what i'm doing right now is i'm putting only the string data type so i've already put eggs juice rice coffee tea milk so i think that's uh, enough for this list for the example today so let's uh, initiate a for loop. I would write for item. Item is a variable. I can write anything in shopping list. So the iterator is the shopping list. What is it going to do? It's going to iterate through the elements of the shopping list, which are, let's run this and see. So when I run this, I would see that it has printed eggs, juice, rice, coffee, tea, milk. All the items have been iterated through the for loop in the shopping list now let's look at an egg, another example which is i would now i would use name is equals to Bajulason, which is my name this time i'm using a string what i would do is for characters char in name enter with the indentation print char what it would do when i run this it would print my name and it would print every single character separately w a j e h u l h a s a n uh, so you see, you can use the loops with strings. You can use the loop with the lists. So it does not matter. Let's let's look at another example. This time we are going to play with the numbers. So I would write uh, for i in range, and uh, in the range I would let's say uh, let's write uh, zero comma five. Let's go with uh, five. Oh, let's go with eleven. So uh, yes, you put the colon then it becomes the for loop you print i what it would do is it would print from 0 till 10th 0 is the starting index and 10th is the last index 11 minus 1 just like we did in the slicing when we were sl slicing the strings so if i write for i let's look at another another example for i in range 11 i did not uh, write 0 this time and i print i what is going to happen Let's look at the output. Well, nothing seems to have changed. It is still printing 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Let's try another thing. For i in range, now let's write 0, 11, 1. 
and then uh, now you put colon and then let's print i again let's see what happens now nothing has happened so it has it is printing the same thing so what i have done here is so let me copy a few lines so this is basically start stop and the step size if you do not uh, define the start it would by default take zero and if you do not define the step size it would by default take one so let's talk about break and let's use this example this example of shopping list let's use this and uh, modify this a little let's write for item in shopping list you put colon enter now what i want to do is i would uh, write an if statement and i would say if item is equals to juice what you do is you break so whenever there is juice in the list you would not continue with the, the loop and you would break out of the loop so let's run this uh, and i have not printed anything so i need to print to see if it has broken out of the loop print item now let's run this so you see it has only printed eggs now let's look at the list so the juice is the second item which means when juice came it uh, broke out of the loop and it did not iterate further so let's write t and run this again now you see eggs juice rice coffee and then it broke out of the loop because i wrote t in the if condition and break and give it the instruction to break the loop if the t is uh, present in the item now let's look at the same example but with the continue statement let's see what happens continue and then run the same code again okay it's it is all jumbled up i let's write a print statement and this print statement would say now we are starting the continue let's do that and run this again so now you see eggs juice rice coffee no tea but milk it has skipped the tea but it has printed the milk unlike the last case where it stopped at coffee this time it printed the milk as well so this is the difference between break and uh, the continue statement now let's do another example and uh, this time let's combine uh, let's use loops let's use loops with continue statement as well as the break statement so what we are going to do now is let's start with the a for loop and this time we are going to use the numbers example so we are going to write for i in range let's uh, give it the range 20 it it means it is going to take 0 as the starting point and step size by default is going to be 1 so i am writing this condition where i person 2 is equals to 0 means that if there is an even number you skip that iteration what do you do after you skip the iteration then you check another condition what is the other condition let's uh, say if i is equals to um let's give it 12 if i is equals to 12 what to do if i is equals to 12 so you break out of the loop so it means that i am expecting that this loop is not going to run beyond uh, 12 and it is not going to print the even numbers uh, even before 12 so it would print odd numbers but it would not go beyond 12 so let's put a print statement so we know now we are starting the uh, combination or uh, hybrid let's uh, run this and see what happens so it has printed 1 3 5 7 9 11 and it continued 13 15 17 19 okay this is interesting this is a very interesting problem so it did not work as we expected it to work there must be some problem with our logic and what is the problem let's look at this so we have got if i is equals is equals to 12 break the syntax is correct it should run this it is uh, uh, not inside the body of the continue so this 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 is a very interesting problem actually this uh, this becomes the exciting part of the coding where you want to see where you want to debug actually i i personally love to debug 
So what we did wrong, and uh, yes, I think I know what we did wrong. We, uh, of course, we put 12. It For the even numbers, it skips the iteration. So if I put i is equals to 12, it is never going to execute that. It is never going to make it till the line 51. It is going to uh, stop the execution at line number 50 when it sees that it is 12 and is an even number. So that was the problem there. So that was it for today. We've learned about the loops, which was an interesting uh, topic of any programming languages. So we learned the loops through lists, through syntax. And then we also learned about uh, the break statement. We learned about the continue statement. And we have also seen uh, the combination of the two. So that's it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Stay happy, stay safe, and keep smiling.